Hey guys, it's Epic Diamonds here and welcome to the second episode of the Alex Thiago player career mode or the story as I like to call it. Here you can see him borrowing his mum's car here. He's just going to a job that he will be quitting once he gets more money. He's on 1.9k currently guys in euros um so he does not have enough money obviously to go off his job his job off offers him an extra one grand in euros a month um it's at a local supermarket mar too so it's not far for him to drive although he still stays at his mum's as he can't afford a house yet obviously um he's just fresh off of university he spent a year there and um and his mother wanted him to take over his local family business but he had his heart set on professional footballer like like the job he has now at Girona. but as you can see here getting out of his mum's car he was ready to go to work but his mum still has a plan for him to take over the family business 24 7 supermarket is where he works obviously guys we're in los santos of gta but just pretend this is spain he says hi to the store manager and then goes into the back of the room this is where he gets all of his work done checks out the sprite can there see if it's full and then goes onto his computer so alex tiago is now checking out the news on his laptop and he finds himself this on a website um he's picked up the european international player of the competition for himself look at that 67 in form card probably might come out on fifa soon i'm joking guys it's fictional 67 rate we've gone up by rating and then this keko has signed for us too so we have a new right midfield that doesn't trouble me too much as i put down the center um 2.7 million picked him up off rivals malaga now i don't know if that's an actual rivalry but what i'm saying is that um malaga will be contesting for the title with us but anyway, guys, that's all the news we have. So, guys, we skipped forward a few days and it was time for training. This was the training just before the game. We are like three days away from the game here. Um, Alex Tiago working on his sprint speed. He um, also has some tape on his arm now. I just thought it actually looked pretty nice on him. <laughs> and I'm um, always a guy for accessories. I don't know why. I just like him. Anyway, so as you can see, running running around doing a bit of dribbling working on his dribbling i do believe speed as i already said and agility also working on his balance on the ball so you know he's not tripping over everything and that was it for that drill now moving on to some attacking drills here tiago did all right in these picks up a goal on his first attack there um just want to say tiago is wants to be more of a dribbler then a passer as you can see there but um he's all right he's all right at passing as you've seen in the last few games he's obviously going to pass when the time needs to but if he has the space don't expect him to like just pass the ball around he's going to run into that space try and create some out of nothing he wants to improve on his dribbling his passing to his shooting he needs, needs a little bit of work i think it's only like 71 right now but you know we are only a 67 rated striker, so we're not that good. Um, also, Alex Thiago wants to check out his FIFA card, you know. Since um, he's now on FIFA 20 as a striker, he wants to check it out. Obviously, that's fictional, guys. It's just for the story. Using some of the money he's got, he's on around about 10k now altogether in the bank. He rented out this car for 3,000 euros per year. Um, I think this was a pretty good investment. It's a good way to drive. Um, he has his driver's license, obviously, as you saw earlier. But as you know, the earlier car he was using was just his mum's. This is his own rented car now. He then arrived in his new car, obviously, at one of the clearest places. He always goes here to clear his mind out before any big events happen. It's the football pitch he used to play on as a young, upcoming winger. Yes, Alex Thiago was originally set out. He wanted to become a winger, but then one ultimate turn made him become a striker. So this is the old football pitch in Spain. 
he used to play on. This is where he comes, obviously, as I said, to clear his mind. He remembers scoring hat-tricks after hat-tricks on this pitch. And this very pitch was the one that he was scouted by the Real Madrid Youth Academy. They came here in Sevilla. He was originally born in Sevilla, guys. He came here for a bit to scout some players. With that, he sat in the centre circle trying to clear his mind for one of the biggest games yet. And with that, it was time to get into the first match of the season here against Real Sporting. We were at home, so I thought we should come home with at least the three points or a point here. As you can see, home and away kit. There's the line-up on screen. Thiago in the centre, um, gone up by one to 67. Um, Dama Waka, who scored that amazing volley. And, um, yeah, there's a team. Uh, Granwell scores in this game, as I've said. Let's go. And it was time. A little glitch there in the training. Although, at this moment, Alex Thiago was pumping himself up ready for this match and boys i'm just gonna let this play out as a cinematic i'm on my own broken alone i feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town we're searching for the lost and found but you don't care you're unaware keep moving like the scars aren't even there it's in the air so then, boys, it is time for Alex Thiago's league debut. There is the lineup on the screen. We've already had a look at our lineup. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. My um, editing is trying to get a lot better, as you can see. Um, Real Sporting lineup now on the screen. Um, so just keep an eye on them. Cause they will be hard to go up against and anyway with that let's get into the highlights there the boys are ready we are ready and it's time to show these guys how it is done with that boys it is now time for kickoff we are underway here and it is time for the first attack of the game here the ball is spread out wide i don't have the name popping above again guys so i don't know who it is alex diago on the ball here Driving, trying to get a shot away, can't. So he pushes it back, puts the ball in, and it's hit by the midfielder there. Our captain misses a chance to go 1 0 up. Let's have another look at that. An absolute peach of a strike is saved by the keeper to keep it 0 0. With that, boys, uh, next chance came for Sporting Gear. Good passing. He could have played it over the through, but he just hit it straight at our defender. So, boys, here is it then. And, boys, I'm just going to let this play out. So yes, boys, what an assist by Alex Diago finds the feet of El Capitano and he absolutely rifles one into the net. A bit of curve too, I think that's a new shooting technique in this FIFA. And he absolutely rifles one into that corner to make it Girona 1. Moving on from that fantastic finish, Alex Diago would have a chance going for another chip. That one was horrendously wide. Probably should have gone with the finesse or dribbled a bit more. But I saw the keeper off his line and I thought, oh, it's time for a superstar goal. But unlucky, Alex Thiago could not finish that. Nothing would really happen, boys, until the 71st minute of the second half. Nice passing right here. Alex Thiago holds up the ball, plays a nice 1-2 with our midfielder. I do not want to because he gets intercepted. Gets the ball, hits, tries to hit one. It's blocked, holds on to the ball, looking for options, no one's there, so he switches it out wide, bad ball, but he intercepts, but the midfielder, or the right back, I don't know, intercepts it, ball goes in, and it's cleared, is it? It's going to be cleared, no it isn't, it falls to Thiago, oh, he's just put it wide of the post there, agonisingly wide, poor shot by him, you should really be getting those at least on target, although it was kind of a rush shot, and I think he got a little bit pushed there, manager knows. That should have been at least been on target. 
And boys, that would lead us to one last chance. Girona pushing for that second goal, even though we've definitely won the game now. As Alex Thiago tries the shot, but misses. But it doesn't matter. We pick up the three points on the first match of the season. It's a 1-0 win over potential um, potential um, top leaders two in Sporting, who I think have just come down two. So that's a great result to get, but we're at home, so we should really expect it anyway. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do make sure to subscribe. I put a lot of effort into these videos. Um, please make sure to like, too. Um, likes were something that I really liked, um, obviously. Um, we got like something like eight likes in the last video. So that was absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for anyone who liked. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe, like. If you do that, then it will mean the world to us. It will push us to make more content. And uh, I'll see you stats on the screen now. And boys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.